Hey everyone, it's Big Ninja Buffin 99 here. You can listen to this full episode of Newgrounds right now. Do do. In reality, it's just going to be us nerds talking about the games we never finished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, very spooky for most game developers. Yes. Yes. All right. So it the haunts us. it haunts us every night. We can't. Yeah. Sleep. You stay up at night and be like, God oh, damn. <laughs> what if I finished that game about the guns on the trees? But there's another one I did. I started, it's called Frog. It's just F-R-A-W-G. I spelled it funny because that's what we did back then, man. Just edgy names. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Anyway, it, it was yeah. It was, it was put a, kind put of a, X in there. Somewhere. Yeah, Frog X 2030. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sick name for it. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing started, it was just, it was a Flash game, but it, it started, it was more of a toy than a game, I guess. It, I never really knew what it was going to become. Uh, basically, I made it for the browser, and you played it with a mouse. But realistically, it would be a perfect mobile game. Because what you would do is, you had this frog, and it had like springy physics in the legs and shit. You'd click his body, you'd drag him the opposite way you want him to go, and you'd let go, and he'd go flying. You know, like those fling games, where you, you fling your whole character. And it looked really neat. And then you could just click anywhere away from the frog and he would shoot his tongue out and he could eat shit or he could like grab onto walls and it would pull him like a, just like a little spring snap. And it was, just, it was just really fun to play with. And I think it's got a lot of potential as a game, but I had no idea what to do with it. Like my original thought was, well, let's make it a, a platform game or like a, you have to just navigate these worlds and not die. And there's, I, it, it just kind of, got lost on me and then i'm thinking maybe it could be like a platform puzzle game where you gotta get through the levels and but yeah i gotta i gotta, I gotta figure out what it should be at some point but it's just the toy itself and a lot of games like you guys can probably attest to this a lot of games start out that way where you just kind of make this little toy to play with and then you got to put it into a world and that's kind of a challenge and that's where i'm stuck with on that one but i would love to bring that one back because it's just so fun to play with this little toy yeah, I've seen so many so many games that are exactly that like they they have this really neat fun cool like really base simple concept but the, like the whole process of game design kind of eludes you because it's like you know you got to make that transition from here's this little thing to here's the entire game and it's yeah, yeah it can yeah. be rough and you can put this well, toy in so many toy, games <laughs> a fun little toy is actually a very strong base for a game oh, yeah, we gotta we gotta bring back licensed games like the the golden era of like late 2000s like every every single thing had like a game on the nintendo ds <laughs> oh, yeah. or the wii the wii as well had yeah like the a wii ton of oh yeah the, the wii was <laughs> the wii was fantastic. something whatever happened whatever happened to the fucking uh, nintendo seal of approval that that kind of went away on the wii <laughs> <laughs> yeah no lie i'd love to make a licensed game if i had creative control over it <laughs> Little Wayne, I the game. Either, I, I, <laughs> Little Wayne in the game. Bringing it back. Little Wayne Quest. Little Wayne, Wayne Quest. Little Wayne, Wayne Quest. <laughs> Follow up to Q Q Quest. <laughs> like I'm, ki I'm kind of. You <laughs> license Q. I'm kind of jealous of. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of jealous of that studio that got to do the like Nickelodeon Smash Bros. Yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like that seems like such a fun thing to do. Um, and the and timing. I they, they got it. I saw, oh yeah, my god! Right when Smash is done. Up. Right when Smash is done being updated, they bring it out. That's fucking genius. Yeah, never again. Fuck multiplayer games. <laughs> <laughs> I sell the game sells as a two pack and a four pack on Steam, as specifically there, so that so that you're supposed to like buy it as a group of people and play with your friends. And people still buy it for themselves and be like, "There's nobody playing." All right, <laughs> whose fault is that? <laughs> that's not my fault. <laughs> Where's your matchmaking lobby, Tyler? Come on, you did, you, you, there is. A, there is, as long as there's people playing in the most of public <laughs> lobby, people will come and play. Everybody you listening right now, get right. bomb or not, schedule a playtime, get on together and bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. We're bringing back I, even, I did a base. thing where I'm like, you get bonus points if you play on Saturday, to try and get a bunch of people to play on Saturday. Um, and it worked for a while, and then, I don't know, never again. I'm getting, <laughs> it's very annoying to just have a ton of people leave reviews that are like, thumbs down, dead game. <laughs> Just the entire podcast is. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Why won't this work? <laughs> what do you mean, so, error nine seventeen? I've actually never done a true game jam. I don't know about you guys. I am terribly slow at like 
doing anything game related, like even basic tasks. I don't know. I, I like overthink and I'm very methodical to a fault where like, I just, I literally don't think I could come up with uh, a game jam pro. Like, I don't think I could have anything tenable in like a two day period. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but you, you almost always have to have a team or someone to keep you reined in for sure. I, I have a few games that like sort of almost turned into like Friday Night Funkin' of just like a lot of different like rhythm game prototypes of like one of them was like a rhythm stealth game like Cyberfunk. Hmm. Hope I want that to still come out one day. And it's just like you like have to move in time with the beat and if you don't like the robots you're trying to sneak past will like hear you. And it's like it's like that bullshit, dude. That mechanic and would I work at like, Friday Night Funkin'. We gotta sneak into girlfriend's bedroom at night. Come on. Yeah, yeah. No, no modder steal that. No more <laughs> TM 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 C with a <laughs> no circle steal, around no it. it. 2010. <laughs> patented. I got it patented. So yeah. and I will sue. But, That's right. It's on the record uh, now, baby. <laughs> with all this talk about meta. I was thinking I'd tell a different story today. Oh, look, 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 look at him avoiding the elephant in the room. All right, Tom, I like stories. came prepared. Hey, let's get our popcorn. Story time with Tom Fall. Tom Fall so, denies the Pico 2 allegations. <laughs> Nene's interactive suicide follow-up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can follow up that one. <laughs> <laughs> good times, good times. Well, Appreciate you talking about the uh, Pico 2, Pixel Puncher, etc. Got any uh, advice for people who have given up on games and just need a little boost, guys? Any Anything to tell the people to not let these dead games get them down? Let them stay dead. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> no, if, if, no, if they're a, bad, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a serious, it's a serious yeah, legitimate, exactly. legitimate advice. Don't be, like, don't be afraid to move like on. If you, like, just do something yeah. else. Yeah. But just move, quick, like just quickly, just do something else. Oh yeah, don't. I don't think this is. Hold on. This is the thing that I try to get every like new developer to do is to make games as quickly as possible. If they're playable, put a title screen on them and release them. Don't try to make them good. Like if you spend like a week working on it and it's playable, fucking put a title screen on it and release it. Yeah. Or don't, and then do something else. Like just the more, the more that you do. The better that you'll you'll get better way faster that way. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, and it, I mean it would be really weird if you didn't have a graveyard of dead games to to show. Unless it's your yes. first game, you, you might finish. You might get lucky. Yeah, just yeah. kill them when they're like young. Don't like let them. Don't work on a game for like five years and then kill it. Yeah. No, well. Don't let it get to the point where you're working on a game that's going to die for five years. Yeah, you, you should you should know at least after three years. <laughs> yeah, three years. Three years tops. <laughs> if it's not working after three years, right. you should probably call it. Hear that, Tom? Hear that, yeah. Tom? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not listening. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> This is the part where we scare Tom. It is Halloween right. special. Yes, we give Tom Ooh. nightmares about nightmare cops. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs>